Hello beautiful earth angels, multi-dimensional beings, starseeds, light workers, incarnated. Welcome back or hello if you're new to another channel reading and message for you beautiful souls. This reading has definitely found you for a reason. Frequency attracts frequency and especially out of anyone um, you guys find readings and energies come synchronistically to you in your reality because you're experiencing the perception of reality from higher spaces of consciousness higher dimensional spaces of consciousness which how do we enter those through the mind through the astral space internally you are accessing higher planes of mental frequencies in thoughts emotions etc etc and this allows you to enter a state of consciousness where you are perceiving reality from these higher planes which not everyone is perceiving from everyone is perceiving reality from their own perception of of state of consciousness so out of everyone okay in this reality this reading has found you and I feel there's always a level of synchronicity to the things that come into your path. Whether they be readings, videos, information, people, you will always and maybe live with this belief or understanding or knowing that everything is happening for a reason or there's always a cause and effect to energy um, from energy. Everything is a mirror from inner to outer. Reality has actually been breaking down for you so much throughout your spiritual path, throughout these continual ascensions, shifts, and awakenings. Reality has become lucid. Reality is surreal. Reality is broken down and has been breaking down into different layers of separation of understanding where you are almost seeing the lucidity of reality because of this. Now, you guys, this reading is heavily surrounded around synchronicities, but not in the way that we filmed before. We have done multiple readings about how your reality is breaking down, how you can see the breakdown of layers in your reality, maybe from your subconscious materializations, um, to the synchronicities of materializations manifested from your guides, other people's higher selves, etc. You're experiencing reality in a very quantum way. And so we're going to be going into, and this is a channel reading a message for you right now, about the fact that you are experiencing and have experienced throughout your journey and duration a lot of synchronistic occurrences how there's different levels of materialization of energy and different ways of synchronicity different ways of telepathy and all the ones we're talking about or maybe a few of them you know it depends what resonates for you always take what resonates but all of these that i'm talking about i feel in this reading you have experienced and are experiencing right now in an even heightened way so that is the relevance is that if this isn't re recently for you then it's just in general for you you could have experienced some of these energies or in general this is highlighted for um, the majority of you right now because there's some relevance to this space and time that you're experiencing in your reality connected to this energy and that is what we're going to be opening up to so First of all, well, I'm just going to read through the channeling, how it came through, and then we'll open it out. But we have this energy of singular mo momentary synchronicities, okay? So Spirit was bringing through, to start this message, the energy that you experience a lot of synchronicities. How we would maybe, on a surface level, presume what is a synchronicity we think well it's a reoccurring so there's these different types of synchronicities there's reoccurring synchronicities that you experience like reoccurring numbers reoccurring symbols signs names object like uh colors things like this but you are also experiencing momentary synchronicities. Now, this is detaching the word synchronicity from reoccurring and more looking at this energy or word of synchronicity in a sense of mergence or alignment from inner to outer realms. Synchronicity meaning synchronization. 
and so you guys uh, know and have experienced reality living in this parallel way of having a physical and also having a whole internal reality. Why is that? You guys have a heightened inner perception or awareness of self, meaning you have an inner monologue or dialogue. You are always in this inner monologue and dialogue and it's been there your whole existence of lifetime and it may have awoken to different levels throughout your journey. Okay, maybe it's, it's stronger at some points than others. I feel you're at a point where you have a very, very clear connection to your internal realm, inner thoughts and inner monologue. And now this is not something that is actually just a given, but it's the only way that you know of perceiving reality, because this is the reality you perceive through, through your inner realm, existence and monologue. So not everyone is actually experiencing reality in this way. And I think that's something also highlighted through your journey that you've been awakening to is just how different you actually perceive and experience reality because a lot of these ways that's different are completely normal and familiar to you and you've never known anything different. For example, the inner monologue. Not everyone has this inner monologue. So I call, and what we'd say <clears throat> in 3D layer, is understanding is an inner monologue, I would call actually a higher awareness or a sense of detachedness from your conscious lower down experiencer ego mind right the autopilot you have different layers or chambers of thought you have extra chambers of thought to be the inner observer is along those lines of that so you guys are the inner observer and you're experiencing momentary synchronicities as well as reoccurring synchronicities momentary synchronicities are very interesting and this was one of the main highlighted points as we start this message because these momentary synchronicities you have been experiencing recently are occurrences that are woven by the divine that do not need to be reoccurring. For example, um, there could be something happen in your reality and you get this sense of energy around it, of analogy or deeper meaning or message that you interpret or that you can divinate from that is not necessarily reoccurring, but it's all that you need in the information for that moment. Hopefully that's explained a bit better, but let's say um, momentary synchronicities can happen. For example, if you're watching, this is actually a merge of two energies of synchronicity, but for example, you're watching a TV show, and this is one I bring up a lot because I feel like it's a very common one as well, where you're in a trail of thought within your inner monologue, okay, your inner reality, and you're watching something on TV, and as you think a sentence or a realization in your mind, the TV, whoever's speaking on it, says the same words that you're thinking at the same time. This is a momentary um, experience of synchronization between your internal astral energetic realm and your 3D physical reality. So synchronization in a way of not reoccurring, but the synchronization of your inner to outer reality. Someone says something that you were just thinking about in that moment. That is that synchronization. And this is kind of different to this reoccurring energy, but it happens in the same way in the fact that it's when the veil is thinning. It's when you are entering higher planes of dimension. In higher planes of dimension, conscious state of frequency, the reality operates differently and there tends to be this emergence that starts to happen between the inner and outer. So things become less separate and there is almost uh, less of that barrier or veil between the inner self and the outer self, the inner self and the outer self becoming connected to reflect each other in simultaneous instant time, okay, in that moment of time. So someone could be experiencing, and actually you communicate with your guides a lot through these momentary synchronicities. Say for example, you're walking down the street and you see two cats fighting. Cats might not be a synchronicity, but in that moment, you get this energy of intuition come over you where there feels to be some type of 
relevance or prevalence or highlight to this energy in your physical that you are being drawn to and brought your attention to and it's almost interplaying an energy dynamic which then you can apply in your life somehow and it's like you communicate with your guides in this way of momentary synchronicity as well as what we were talking about reoccurring synchronicities reoccurring numbers reoccurring names reoccurring momentary synchronicities can be in the same forms as reoccurring synchronicities it's just that they don't reoccur they're for the moment and you receive a lot of energy perceptions through these moments of synchronization or synchronicity so you guys are energetically interpreting and reading your reality um, because you are understanding the breakdown of how everything is materializing from a reflection of the subconscious so you're using your reality to understand yourself your life and um your life path from more of the astral energetic spaces you're using your reality to communicate with your guides or your guides are utilizing your reality to communicate with you and you are picking up on these messages so i think there's an air or element of don't doubt these intuitive hits when you get them or don't doubt the way that you interpret these syn synchronicities a lot of us can search up online oh what does this number synchronicity mean what does this synchronicity mean and there is literally nothing wrong with that i still do that sometimes as well but at the same time we're being guided to lean into this air of our own trust of our interpretations um, and to build the trust of our interpretations because that is our intuition talking to us and it's something that through time in society we are conditioned to doubt as we've just made that up that is a big ego thought on disregarding intuition and how a lot of our intuition gets deconstructed is through thoughts specifically like that I've just made this up or oh I'm actually I'm not really sure or like this air of doubt because there's nothing to ground or confirm that other than your own self trust in your perception and your interpretation right so someone could be going into divination someone could read divination or this could just be in general um you know a message to trust that you are capable of that you are very intuitively gifted in your perceptions always even without cards or anything like this even if you some of you watching even if you don't even divinate at all um you guys are divinating because you're constantly energetically reading people synchronicities and your physical reality so yeah right so there is this ref referring um to reality and the fact that you experience a lot of these synchronization or merging moments these points of mergence between this physical and higher energy planes so again we have synchronicity and then we have other um concepts coming in uh, like we spoke about the inner monologue to physical mergence. We also have something that you guys have experienced as well, and we're going to explain, is the mergence of your reality with others' realities, okay? This is almost like quantum entanglement. We've got thinking, uh, no, thinning and merging of the veil that can happen with you, um, which allows you to see maybe auras, orbs, geometry, energy grids, energy lines, anything that's considered an unseen force. Now, sound is considered an unseen force. Our electromagnetic auric field is considered an unseen force. I guess to a level we could consider vibrations and feelings and things like that an unseen force. These unseen quantum forces are energy and subtle energy and these quantum unseen forces of subtle energy can only be seen perceived observed felt or experienced from higher planes of perception higher planes of consciousness embodiment okay what your frequency is at you naturally have a higher core frequency and are connected to higher dimensional planes for a multitude of reasons that we won't even go into in this reading 
but you are incarnated with this very particular special frequency because you have a particular purpose for your frequency here in this dimensional plane and this earth you have come from higher frequency planes and are still connected to those planes and this means that you experience um, the perception experience or feeling of quantum unseen forces at a heightened level of clarity to many others around you meaning that you feel unspoken words you feel people's thoughts you feel other people's projections perceptions you feel left energy in rooms you feel um colors okay you feel um maybe words as textures that we're almost verging into synesthesia here some of you could have synesthesia some of you could have synesthesia that you haven't even considered because you not realizing that's what it is because it can happen in all these different types of ways you process energy through each of your senses and you know synesthesia is kind of like when your uh senses are almost cross-wired or they get merged together you're filtering simultaneously all of these frequencies you come across through all of your senses simultaneously so a lot of you can look at things and feel them as a texture or you can tap into someone's energy and feel that as a feeling inside and when I say texture I mean like a feeling of a texture maybe like someone feels very smooth to you very settling and then someone could feel very um, anxious to you or spiky right there's this sense of you feeling you feeling color so it could be synesthesia in a way of feeling as well um, in this way but anyway moving on you guys um, so you guys frequently are experiencing these mergences one reason to this okay is that you are mentally traveling the astral throughout your waking day when i said at the beginning you have this parallel uh experience of reality the parallel is your internal monologue that secret voice inside your head that you are experiencing throughout your life and you know you go to speak to someone but you're almost still filtering it through or bouncing with your internal monologue it's like this internal monologue is the most naked part of yourself it's the most personal part of yourself it is the part of yourself that you are familiar with the most your consciousness your internal monologue is you bouncing with your consciousness and you are able to have this perception and experience of consciousness um, in a very heightened way where it's almost separate to you or you can bounce around through different aspects and communicate with consciousness between the different aspects, higher and lower awareness, things like this. You are going throughout your waking reality um, and because your brain is operating from such a place, um, two of how much information you are able to take in in your mind this reality and the mundane things that you do does not take up all the energetic cords that are tethering in your mind to information so you can go about your day-to-day -day doing your normal tasks and yet behind those normal tasks some of you are not even present maybe some of you practice presence but it's like you flick out of this reality and what you're doing and you can be like cooking dinner but you can be way off in a thought loop about something that is very very complex completely unrelated to the physicality of what you're doing or that situation you're in so this inner monologue okay where you go off and you can be in almost the physical as well as in the astral at the same time you are transcending and separating from your physical vessel you are moving through the astral in your energetic form and the um, way we experience this is through linking thought connections thought connections and thoughts that we move through in our trail of thought in this inner monologue is actually us moving through the astral planes and it's like we experience it in this thought and this feeling um, when you know a lot of us the more that we hone in on this the more it can become a more uh, visceral experience where say in meditation these thought travels you go on can start to become picturized almost like a dream right but for the waking day you can go off on these thought travels and you're living in this parallel now where you are traveling to in your mind separate from your autopilot or your mundane tasks things like this 
where this means that you are traveling and moving through the astral. There are different layers, spaces, and pockets of frequency in the astral. The astral also is not just our own astral space. We can go out in that astral space and it's a collective shared space, right? It's the quantum realm. So everyone incarnated here, their higher self, also exists as an energy in the astral space, okay? Um, and also spirits reside in the astral space, all these things. So when you're going back on these thought trails throughout your day, you are, yes, experiencing this moving through the astral, but it's the same as walking out into the street and there'll be, um, you know, walks along that street where no one's around and then you'll get to a certain bit and there could be someone stood on that corner and you have a conversation with them but it's all experienced through your own inner dialogue and so you're channeling in this way you channel with spirits in this way that you come across as you're moving through the astral through your trail of thought you're also channeling with others higher selves and things like this through that movement or trail of thought and what is prominent about this is that because different spaces in the astral have different frequencies, you are moving in this parallel in the astral through different vibrations. You might get to a pocket of energy that is extremely far out in the astral and high vibrational in a sense it's a much higher dimensional plane. You know when you're in, you're in higher dimensional planes because you'll be thinking about concepts that maybe break down reality or um, break down the illusions of reality. These realizations mean you're in that higher plane of perception. And when you are in that higher plane of perception in your astral, that affects the physical as well. So where you're moving internally is affecting your physical reality. And this is where you experience synchronicity because if you're mentally sitting in these vibrational spaces, your reality is almost mirroring that as you internally travel. So you can internally travel and reality as you enter that higher pocket of realization suddenly you see an angel number on the on the microwave it's like higher planes or frequencies you're accessing internally are going to reflect out into your external and so these mergences of synchronicity are very much correlated to the fact that you are dipping in and out of different dimensional planes throughout your day you are all you are hopping between different dimensions in your mind throughout your day and it actually affects what timelines you're materializing into every second in your physical throughout your day okay so higher timelines have different outcomes correlated to their frequency and energies correlated to their frequency and things like this and you guys are probably also self-aware that um a lot of thoughts can materialize um or thoughts are frequencies and frequencies that we embody, we pulsate and radiate out and then that affects our surrounding reality. Thoughts create reality in this way. And so as you do this, you are mentally moving through these astral planes and dimensions of vibrations and meeting these other spirits and others higher selves and their realities. So now we move on to the next part of this reading, which is when we were talking about... This part here that we mentioned with merging with others' realities. So obviously in the astral space, you're moving around this space all the time. Um, there's going to be other people's higher selves out there, especially if they're moving around the same frequency that you're moving in in that moment. Okay, you can meet people in the astral and their frequencies are coordinates. So if someone is thinking of a very similar vibrational plane to you, in that moment or feeling a similar way to you in that moment you're going to be connecting in the astral or bumping into them in the astral this is almost like a crossing of paths like we do in the 3d but in the astral and you can become quantumly entangled with particular people like this and so you guys um where where everyone's in the astral things like this so when you think of someone you are opening a energetic cord that connects the two of you together. So these energy cords, and I've done a reading about this too, um, is that these energy cords we have to places, people, experiences, memories, and this is the cord of connection. And that cord of connection is built up from emotion in that situation or energy built up in that situation. If it's with a person, the cord that connects you to will be built up through 
um, shared radiated out energy, emotions or thoughts or experiences you've had together, memories, things like that. And so we can have different levels or strengths of energy cords to people. Um, the stronger ones that we have with people can cause more materialization when we connect to them that impacts our reality in that current moment when you think of someone and i say this in the other reading as well like a wormhole right it's like when you think of someone you're actually tuning into their frequency so as you're tuning into their frequency that's their coordinates in the astral you're meeting them in the astral um and you know a lot of you are people who communicate a lot through telepathy and you would have in past incarnations too or other dimensional planes. So telepathy is very handy because instead of just picking up the phone and calling someone, we can think about them and thinking about them tunes us into their frequency and that frequency we're tuning into, obviously then we're embodying, can start to materialize into our reality and we're also opening that cord of telepathy between the two as well. So you guys, opening this cord um when you are thinking of someone or tapping into their energy you're someone who can tap into people's energy which is sitting in um the connection of vibration for longer periods of time so when you open this cord between you two opening this wormhole this um almost portal in the astral between you two um, it starts to connect your two m realities. So you can telepathy in this way, but also this is on about materialized telepathy. And we have mentioned this in a reading before too, where people can send you telepathies, but they can also be physicalized telepathies. Say um, someone thinks about you, then suddenly you see their car manifest into your reality and it makes you think of them. That's a materialized telepathy. Um, verbal telepathies or like feeling or thought telepathies these are experienced in different ways these can be experienced as literally passing thoughts a lot of telepathies or a lot of people who are telepathic um, don't realize for a while because a lot of the time in our internal realms um, every single thought or frequency we come across uh, we deem to be our own when in reality there's different frequencies in the astral there's different spirits there's different higher selves there's different energies we're tapping into and so it can be easy to confuse but maybe this is something that's differentiated a lot for you moving throughout your journey is the clarification of differentiation of your internal realm different thoughts feeling of different frequencies becoming more clarified for you and therefore you're more able to discern what is your thought? What is a thought that's just popped in from someone else's energy? What's a thought that's just popped in from a spirit guide, etc. This is something that differentiates and becomes more defined throughout your journey and path um, as you deeper connect to your inner realm in a monologue and internal space. So you're getting these materialized telepathy. So this is where uh, realities start to merge. So um, this could be something that's less relevant right now for you. It, I feel like this one's really just laying out and explaining a bit better um, because, you know, you guys are breaking down your reality and this is in one of the breakdowns of your reality is that you will experience these materialized telepathies because you also gather and pick up information um, from the astral space about others in this way. You think about someone, this materialized telepathy was coming in through in the way that say you start tuning into someone's energy you start thinking about them tuning into their vibration and suddenly dogs start barking and horns in the distance start going off right uh etc there's and how this feels is chaotic right because there can be physical uh synchronicities or energies materialize but it doesn't have to be so literal in the way that it's more the energetic tone that's being created that's to be divinated, okay? So you think about someone, all these dogs start barking and it makes you feel a bit ugh, uneasy and unsettled or it's like all very loud and chaotic. Then this is connected to the person's energy you're tuning into in that moment. They're bringing their, reality, their energy or their reality into your reality and vice versa. So if there's someone's going through a lot of chaos, 
in um, mentally, emotionally, or physically, you start tuning into their energy to energetically check in on them, you could start having things materialize around you that give you um, energetic traces or hints or intuitive hits about what they're experiencing. This is the same the other way around. If you start thinking of someone and you see a white dove or a feather falls in front of you, or as soon as you start thinking about them, the sun comes out and shines on you through the trees or you see rippling water or someone around you okay because this can happen too you think about someone and someone around you suddenly says something to you um it will be of that frequency of materialization of confirmation so again this could be someone you're thinking of um if a white dove comes again we can divinate these in different ways white doves are a materialization of a frequency um you know depending like colors have frequency and things like that. So white doves are often symbolic or have this frequency of white, which is purity and this energy of angelicness. So if you're thinking about someone, the synchronicities you see can help you a lot to discerning their intentions, their intuition, their energy and their frequency. Because I say this because you guys do this a lot. You energetically check people because of how highly receptive and sensitive you are. It really matters who is around you because you often absorb others' energies. You often absorb others' karmic cycles too or loops or entities or energies and you integrate them and you end up breaking cycles for other people that you're around but this can be draining for you so you energetically like to check out other people's energy by tuning into them maybe when you're not with them or um, when you are with them you're very energetically perceptive and receptive okay so moving <laughs> moving on from that point we've got quite a lot of pages to get through let's see how this goes Right, but this emergence is happening all the time. Um, and how I felt this coming through in the reading was almost like pulses or expanding and contracting breathing energy of feeling. So these synchronicities happening when you are transcending up to these higher planes is almost like this energy of breathing. As you wibble wobble and breathe out, like your energy expands or your auric auric field expands or your frequency expands, you're dipping up to these higher planes. And it's causing this emergence or synchronization in your reality because as well, lots of other things intertwine like we spoke about, like with frequencies and how higher reality planes operate differently um, and in more of a line synchronistic flow of way, things like that, you know, um, in general. But yeah it's like this breathing expanding contracting and then you'll come back in so in these moments where your energy or your mind is expanding okay or searching or or tethering out into the astral um you may notice these things occurring synchronistically around you because of this blending or thinning thinning of the veil so your inner consciousness is always moving around the astral almost parallel or separate to your physical or surface auto conscious mind moving around and doing and and experiencing so your physical is very lucid getting a breakdown of reality completely right and i'm actually going to leave that reading link below i feel like it could have information and in. we can't all fit in this reading is how you're experiencing this breakdown of your reality everything in your reality you're seeing connections and able to trace them back right um as what's being manifested from your subconscious the breakdown of reality is that we can look around see what is being manifested from internal energies or frequencies we're feeling in that moment subconscious energies and frequencies of our own and also how there'll be energies manifested and materialized that other people are projecting in that we're connected to and also that our guides materialize in because our guides have this ability to interact and intertwine with our physical reality with our mind our guides have access to our minds um, nothing can penetrate through your auric field and interfere with your mind that is not meant to so say certain lower energies or people if they are not necessary needed or contracted in you can have entities and lower energies infiltrate your mind and cause stress this is normally though because it's intertwined with a deeper darker shadow journey or subconscious healing work you're doing there will never be unnecessary energies 
just getting at you because I know we talk about this people project a lot of energies towards us that is never going to affect us unless they're a karmic aspect being materialized from a shadow aspect or wounding of ourselves obviously they're going to be able to penetrate into our minds because they're a materialization of a frequency we're holding inside and until we heal that frequency inside they are allowed access to that place inside of us okay and so when we heal that they are no longer to able to penetrate that and I only say this because I think it can be triggering sometimes you watch certain readings and it's like um you know protect your energy this and that because this person's doing magic or this person's sending energy and it's like yes of course we always have to be like we said mindful but at the same time everything's happening for a reason nothing is actually going to be able to exist or penetrate your mind or come into your reality if it's not already in your reality subconsciously internally or anything like that so it's that we use these energies on the outside these lower energies as a reflection to see and pinpoint and trace back inside ourselves where is this energy living inside internally inside of me um, we use these energies to better see what is happening in our subconscious because the subconscious void is a large space. We have no clue of everything that is in our subconscious. And, you know, a lot of experiences we have that create wounding happen and we forget about them because it can happen in earlier years and things like that too. So a lot of these materializations of lower energies, entities or people or lower dark forces that materialize in the mind are already only materializing, they're accessing because there's a piece of us that they're reflecting that is a mirror to that which we can also be blind to or not even aware of or feel inside of us so we never have to worry about people sending bad energy things like this because if it's only going to we're only actually going to feel like it's affecting us if it's something we're actually currently working through as a spiritual cycle anything other than that is obviously not going to be able to penetrate into your reality because you will not have any of that frequency existing for it to be perceived or felt or intertwined into by you so a lot of you have done a lot of shadow work and a lot of ego deaths and a lot of healing and rebuilding and affirming and purification of your own energy and aura healing back from subconscious wounding and materialized energies and timelines in your reality from darker places in the astral subconscious realms a lot of you have done a lot of uh, built a lot of strength and should be very proud at that because those are the hardest journeys and those are the journeys that a lot of light workers are going to experience more intensely because they are reflecting and materializing subconscious wounding energies and not everyone is materializing at such an amplified rate because not everyone's accessing their subconscious in such a heightened way so yes it is a harder path sometimes being a light worker being in these situations and having things reflect back to us but you guys there's something about a cycle ending here how a lot of timelines have been closed out and how your energies become and becoming very purified in a sense no one's can really break through your mental barriers you've slayed a lot of inner demons right which is really healing and alchemizing and understanding a lot of lower frequencies um, and as we understand them they evolve into the higher and then they cannot exist in our reality or our mind anymore and this is what you guys have done a lot of obviously there's always so much more to the things that we talk about this is just one little snippet out of those realms this is just one little snippet of truth from the infinite multiverse of truth so of course there's going to be interplaying um, energies and explanations and reasonings that I cannot always touch upon um, because we would simply be here for forever right we could look at everything through infinite ways of lenses but the ones that come up I feel are maybe relevant for you guys watching in certain ways so again like with the entities and stuff that has a, ma a thousand different ways we can view that and explain that but for some of you maybe you resonated with that of the fact that you can break down your reality to see the different materializations of where they're coming from inside yourself and this is how you've actually become a co-creator of your reality for this reason for this way um, because of this because you can see these tracing back to inner subconscious programmings which then you have the power to heal understand and alchemize because they're inside yourself which then changes your outer reality and again yes can be tricky for sure <laughs> tricky for sure but um yeah there's this energy of that's how we got here not worrying about like um 
say, um, just things materializing out of our control because everything's always divinely timed and has a reason and purpose, even if we can't see it at the time. We live life forwards and it can only be understood when looked at it backwards is the vibe. But yeah, so um, your inner consciousness, always moving around the astral in this way, your physical is very lucid. Um, between seeing everything that's manifested, aspect of the self mirrored out, to materialize frequencies of guides and angels and spirits who connect with you in the astral, to physical telepathies, to um, see absolutely everything in your physical is just a mirror of the internal astral collective space, thoughts materializing into energy at different levels, okay, like our auras are just our insides flipped out, you know, the same as our auras are our internal, uh, like, organs and everything flipped out, this is almost like the mind with reality, and it's funny because, um, you know, how our body and our mind, etc., is an electromagnetic field it's creating, our aura is an electromagnetic field that is projecting or emitting outside of itself, and, you know, we are always moving around and walking in this field, it's always hovering around us wherever we go, and so we see through our auras, we see through our energy that we're radiating, that we're experiencing, and it creates our perception, we um, experience everything through the energy that we exist in, in our auric field, um, in this quantum way, so um, you guys, um, it's kind of like these could be loops that you have been through, touched upon, or these loops are from a frequency that you're entering recently, a big week reawakening, and you're having a lot of reality broken down to you through downloads and things like this. The whole time I've been channeling, I know it's been in a higher frequency because my head feels almost fuzzy or light or expanded, and I have all these different frequencies, high pitch frequencies ringing in my ears and things like this. So you guys could experience this too, a lot of frequency interferences, um, depending on the space in the astral that you're sitting in and pulling from, you go to a lot of higher dimensional frequencies or planes and you experience a lot of this synchronicity or ringing in the ear or sensations that um, are can appear to be very almost strange or um, intriguing to you in a curious way of why they're happening. So I feel like a lot of you are getting downloads that are confirming and clarifying explanations to you from your spirit guides of some of the occurrences physically you're experiencing to help you understand why this is happening more, or what kind of person you are to be able to experience reality in this way. So your guides are helping you by giving you these heightened experiences and then giving you downloads of clarification to why this could be. Now, um, why that's important, I mean, it's not about understanding and knowing the answer to everything. I think you, out of everyone, you are someone who understands that you would never have the answer to everything. But these are synchronistic and there's divinely time to have downloads and understandings because ultimately it's expanding your perception of who you are as a spiritual and energetic being and that ultimately affects how we act, feel, show up in our reality and the paths and choices and life path choices that we make and callings that we feel drawn to. So um, these downloads could be affecting you right now in a sense that you feel maybe called to pursue different paths because of the realizations you're making about yourself or reality, right? So you're seeing reality in its separation of energy and able to follow its mirrored energy internally back, um, internal to external, vice versa. I can tell this connect, for example, I can tell this connection is a materialization of this energy of um, fun in a child I've built up through the healing um, of the previous energy and so forth. I know that this connection's materialized because they're triggering me and these triggers are things I hold and do in my life that I'm blind to that now I can use them to understand the self, etc. So higher timelines is where realities really blend together in a new state of perception of 3D and energy and quantum, right? So right now in lower vibrations, we experience just this reality or 
just this reality inside in higher timelines there is no inner and outer they blend together and and you can perceive energy in these clearer ways so you are entering these realities you're entering these higher frequencies in this plane and um also the fact that higher frequencies in this plane in the 3d have become less visible so in higher planes these um these higher frequencies uh, become more perceivable and that's determined by the internal state of consciousness our mind and energy is sitting at, like we said before. So raising your consciousness that you've been doing, you are mentally accessing higher frequencies, allowing you to start perceiving higher subtle energies and frequencies of, say, sound, vibration, energy, colour, feeling, thoughts, um, higher dimensional beings etc in all of these um newly materialized ways the same as yeah so this is the same as some drugs so you take psychedelics they alter your state of consciousness and mental frequencies and suddenly you can see reality from a different plane or conscious perception right i start seeing okay you take psychedelics you start seeing all these mandalas all these geometry all these auras on everyone all these colors everywhere you know all these flowing energies around and it's like yes because that's an altered state of heightened um heightened frequency that you're entering for a temporary amount of time a lot of people temporarily visit higher planes in this way uh you guys are actually existing in these higher planes not temporarily visiting you are not a visitor of higher planes it's somewhere where you like i guess you could say you visit because you're not always there you're popping in and out but you don't necessarily need these things to visit these spaces maybe some of you have used these tools to visit certain spaces that have stayed open for you afterward right um but you guys are entering these higher planes of perception where again as if you know we take drugs we're in that heightened state we start seeing reality differently like you guys are reaching that point through ascending your consciousness and so reality is being perceived differently to you or will start to be or even internally your internal reality is perceived differently because we can perceive our physical reality different in these higher planes but let's not forget that you're perceiving your inner reality different too right because in higher planes the internal reality say our inner dialogue uh, between the voices of different spirits energies higher selves that's all very clear in lower planes that's when every thought feels like ours that's when there is no differentiation in the mental planes uh, between vibrations thoughts or feelings right because we can have thoughts come up from our ego that can feel different to our divine feminine nurturing side of ourselves. thoughts coming up they feel exactly the same to someone in a lower state of consciousness there is no differentiation of energy whereas you there's this differentiation inside of yourself of clarity between these different aspects because it's almost like you can experience it separated clearer um, because they will differ in frequency which you feel as like emotion or texture or uh, feeling right so you start channeling a spirit guide who feels very feminine and loving that is going to feel different to if you suddenly get a thought pop up from a, like a really shadow part of yourself that's hating on yourself that feels very harsh and abrupt and hateful okay but so in these higher planes we experience the perception of our internal thoughts differently internal frequencies differently and i feel like that is something that's really changing for you especially those who are watching who think you know maybe i don't see all this crazy stuff in reality maybe i maybe i see auras now and again but maybe it's nothing like whoa um it, this could be flipped around that you have such a heightened state of different perception to your own internal realm and monologue um, and heightened sense of clarification of moving around that internal astral space than some other people which again can happen when we do certain substances psychedelics things like that it changes not only our physical perception of reality but also our internal perception of self so you guys are entering these higher planes um, and going through all these ascensions and you're having all these synchronicities come up very very prevalently um we're not even going to finish this message i might have to move the rest of this explanation of this reading into the next reading i hope that's okay with you all it's getting a bit long but i love you so much and these synchronicities are very relevant and hopefully that this cleared up some confirmation or clarity for you in any way shape or form i love you so much and i'll see you all next time Mwah.